Okay, now here's your reading. All right, so what I did is I used my normal uh, Tarot of the Orisha cards in order to do the initial reading, and then afterwards I added more cards to it. So the five cards up here are the Conscious Spirit Oracle cards. Five cards down here are the um, Romance Angel deck. Okay, so you have a total of ten cards from the Tarot of Orisha, and then you have five and five of those uh, Oracle decks. Also, um, ask for some more information from the uh, Yala Van Zandt um, Until Today cards, and I got uh, three cards out of that for you. And then there also is a card from the um, Inner Child deck, which was indicated by the reading, and uh, I'll share that with you also. <clears throat> so, let's get started. The first card was Two of Earth, okay? This card talks about the energy of an older male around you. Um, this person is very protective. Um, they're protecting their legacy. They're protecting their reputation. Um, and he's a strict paternal figure, it seems. This energy may be um, blocking your love life or your relationship with this male, this older male may be impacting the way you interact with uh, within your relationships. So I don't know if that's uh, your father, I don't know if your father is passed over or if he's here, but in any event, that's the energy that came up. All right, and that was your first card. The second card that you got was the 10 of Earth, Reverse. This talks about a person who's very popular. Um, also talks about being in a position to increase income. Um, someone who's looking at buying houses or property, cars, uh, expanding a business. It also talks about maybe an inheritance might be coming in. Okay. Also talks about a Capricorn male around you. Um, that kind of energy also talks about stability you're concerned about stability and building a future the next card you got was the ten of water and that was reversed also and this talks about secrets and sadness this indicates a water sign energy okay again a water sign is Pisces Scorpio or Cancer you had indicated that you had a a cancer around you um, that you were done with at this point and you didn't want this reading to be uh, concerning that but I can only go with what the cards tell me so there is a water sign and he's uh, sad he does have a lot of secrets um, but he feels right now that he's in crisis he's um, there's a lot of miscommunications going on maybe between you and him um, he may have been cheating or you may have accused him of cheating, but there's going to be some shocking events going on in the next few weeks and he's going to be trapped in his own lies. The next card that you have is the outcast, okay, which is similar to the fool in the tarot deck, the regular tarot deck. And this card is talking about abandoning a love affair, all right, walking away from a situation. Um, your past has brought you a new maturity. So the things that you've experienced, the hurts that you've had to endure over the last year and a half, two years, two and a half years maybe, has brought on a new maturity in you and you're ready to move ahead, okay? Um, but the person that is currently interested in you, really, he really does need your understanding and your attention in order to, to recover, or at least that's what he thinks, okay? He feels that he needs you. He sees you as a stabilizing force. He sees you as someone who he can depend on, someone he can trust, someone he can confide in. Um, and he needs to avoid over-drinking or over-indulging in whatever his, uh, his vice is. He needs to check that. So if it's drinking, drugging, smoking, gambling, whatever it is, 
he needs to get a handle on it. But he feels that he can't get a handle on it unless you're there to hold his hand. And you're at the point where you're not interested in holding his hand anymore. This card here is the Ace of Water reversed. Okay? This talks about someone having false expectations about love. Okay? Uh, it also talks about someone who may be having stomach problems, stomach issues, an ulcer, upset stomach, um, acid reflux even. Uh, this person may need to uh, consult a doctor. So that might be you or him because again this is a water card and this cancer sign is right there on this card so perhaps he's experiencing problems with his digestive system and he might need to uh, check into that all right um, this card also talks about you not really being sure that you actually did the right thing that maybe deep down inside you thinking that he was the right one but um, you didn't have the you you weren't you had enough and you weren't inclined to put any more in, um, effort into that relationship which is your right we all have free wills right ace of water I'm sorry the Sun <laughs> we did the ace of water the Sun reverse this is again about delays and complications which cause uncertainty that may have led to your leaving okay you didn't want to invest more time or more energy into this relationship so perhaps you were make he was making dates or you were having dates and he wasn't showing up or when he showed up he was not doing the right thing um he wasn't returning text you all were you know messaging each other maybe something was said that um had it been said in person, it wouldn't have been taken so, um, it wouldn't have been taken the wrong way. But, you know, text messages leave out the, the nuances that go along with having the person right there in front of you. So there were some miscommunications there. Um, the relationship was moving, was moving very slowly, but ultimately it wasn't a bad thing. All right, there's the sun. That is like a good card. Yes, it's reversed, so that means that it's moving slowly. But that's how things are. Sunrise, sunshine, sunset, right? But it was moving slowly and you had had enough. You weren't willing to invest more time in the relationship. This card here is Babalu Aye, okay? And this talks about materialism. Um... It talks about having an uneasiness in your spirit. It's like you've been knocked off of your perch. Um, you were you were doing fine. Everything was good. You were taking off beautifully. Uh, but then you flew maybe a little too close to the sun and your wings got singed. All right? This is just a temporary situation for you. Okay? You got comfortable because you were happy and... and in this relationship with this person, you kind of, you know, laid back a little bit, but then um, that didn't last long because the issues that you have and issues that he had have came to the surface pretty quickly. Okay. Okay. So the next card you got here was the five of air okay five of air talks about rejecting vanity and pride okay pay more attention to your intuition and ask your friends and people around you for help there are things that you aren't seeing and they're dangerous things that are being camouflaged um, so you need to be careful and you need to ask others for advice and help. I guess that's why you're getting a reading, right? Okay, so good on you. Um, this card here is Chango, 
reversed, okay? So this talks about someone who's retired from the military, uh, some kind of security service, all right? Um, someone connected to a large organization. Uh, it also could be talking about someone who's doing private and get investigations, uh, or someone who is hiring a private investigator. But they're, they're also urgent legal decisions to be made and you may be getting um, uh, objection or denial of some legal settlement that you had agreed to or were going to agree to. Or again, this could be him for him. All right. This card, the salamander, reverse, talks about someone who is a chameleon. Okay, they can change depending on their environment. Okay. Also talks about. Uh, problems with your metabolism. Um, maybe a man in his 40s or 50s, um, a public personality, a well regarded figure. This could also be talking about you because salamanders are, uh, indicate fire signs. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a man, it could just be a woman, too, in their 40s or 50s. All right, who's very popular, has a big public presence, social media presence, and is well regarded by their peers. Okay, so those were, that was the first part of the reading that you got. All right, so we're going to go forward. And yes, I had to take notes because this is a lot. All right, back up here, two of earth. Right? Clarification cards I got. I use the African American deck for clarification on the Two of Earth. And in that, you got the Magician upside down and the Lovers upside down. Two cards came out of the pack for that. All right? So that's the, music, the Magician and the Lovers upside down. This talks about someone playing head games, mental ma manipulation, all right? It's also talking about someone who is having a hard time making a decision. All right, so maybe you felt like your friend was uh, playing head games with you and that's why you're done. The conscious spirit cards that I pulled for the two of earth was sacred space sacred space and this talks about going back to nature it says I find peace security and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty a sacred space so perhaps um, you need to find a way to create a sacred space if you can't do it in your home, then maybe you can go and find a favorite place in the park or um, in the woods or in the forest somewhere um, that you can just go to. Make that your go-to place. If you can't set up an altar in your home or if you don't want to set up an altar in your home that you can speak to your ancestors, you can create find a sacred space in nature somewhere where you can do some thinking about the situation and about your situation in general. Okay, so the card that came up for the Ten of Earth, the African American cards that came up were the Hermit and the King of Wands. King of Wands is a card that uh, is for Sagittarius and the Hermit card is a sign for Cancer. You can figure that, right? So this is saying that you, he, you or he, and I'm, you know, Hermits, the, the Cancers, they do tend to, to be very deep thinkers or spending time alone, okay? So again, this talks about spending time alone in thought. This also 
indicates Sagittarius as a person who respects traditions and loyalty and trust. Okay? Um, so, intuitively what I got when I looked at these cards is that there's a lot of folks not talking to one another, okay, and miscommunications, and you standing your ground, okay, because of the expectations that you have about relationships. This card is what you got for the Ten of Earth. This was in that group. This is your Conscious Spirit card, and it talks about your heart chakra. This talks about opening up your heart and being fair. I love myself and others unconditionally and love and nourish loving relationships. So this is about being open-hearted. And this is about accepting other people's shortcomings as you would want your shortcomings to be accepted, all right? And that's what the uh, Lord's prayer says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Nobody's perfect, okay? And the more you find out about who you are in your heart and you um, address those issues, then maybe you'll be more open to allowing other people their frailties and faults, okay? All right, Ten of Water Reverse was a card. And you got the Knight of Swords for that, okay? Again, this talks about a water sign <laughs> who's gotten caught up in his own lies, all right? A water sign. Knight of Swords. He has gotten um, caught up in his own lies and because he has no willpower and he uses bad judgment, okay? He's a very sensitive person and, and, and he's, he's sweet. But he's not going to be happy until he figures out what his life purpose is, what his soul's purpose is, okay? And, again, there may be some overuse of, of, of alcohol on his part. So, for that card, the Ten of uh, Water, you got two <laughs> of the Conscious Spirit cards came out. And one was the Air Element. Okay. So, the Air Element, this is about communications and find your bliss okay the air element card says i embrace the knowledge of air and am open to all knowledge i embrace the element of air and open to all knowledge and wisdom okay so this is about communications okay communications information research all right talking to your ancestors talking to your elders getting more background information before you make a final decision about this relationship, is what I'm being told. This is talking about finding your bliss. So, like I said before, your friend is not going to be happy until he figures out what his life purpose is. All right? This talks about, come on, midnight, you did this last night, that's why I couldn't finish this reading. Please, excuse my cat. Okay, I'm following a path I love and I'm aligned to my soul's purpose. So when he finds his path, he will he will he will be the person that you think that he could be, that you know that he is. He just has bad judgment and no willpower. I don't know if he's uh weak when it comes to other women or eats too much food or you know it could be 
fat guy that likes chocolate cake. Who knows? But uh, whatever it is, he needs to figure out what it is that is uh, holding him back and keeping him from finding his life's purpose. All right. But he thinks, oh boy, he, he, he's, hmm. he's dependent on you a lot. And you're turning away from him and, and, and uh, breaking off the relationship or whatever you're doing. Even though he may not express it to you, it's very troubling to him. Okay, next card you got was the outcast. Okay, this is talking about walking away from a situation. I'm starting all over again. The African American deck gave you the knave of pentacles. And this talks about, again, this person that you're walking away from feels that he cannot straighten himself out. He's by himself. He sees you as someone who's courageous and strong-willed and um, he, he thinks that he needs you or someone like you in order to conquer his demons. But really he needs to work on himself. Um, you know, he needs to maybe see a psychologist, counselor, someone like that. And, and get to the bottom of why he does the things he does. Why does he lie? Why does he drink? Why does he overindulge in whatever he's doing? Why are there so many secrets? All right. The card that came with that was the Archangel Michael. Okay. Now the Archangel Michael is um, the person who will open your roads. The person that will lead you through the right path. The protector. Okay, it says, I'm grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life. So, he, again, looks at you as some kind of savior for him, some protection for him, right? Even though he's the man and you're the woman, he, he admires you a lot, okay? The Ace of Water, reverse card, African American card, again, you got a lot of money in this reading okay um this is the knight of pentacles okay so this is talking about yes there's lots of notes <laughs> oh my goodness this is talking about you are having reservations about your decision to end this relationship and you or he may be having a little upset stomach problems about that um, some heartburn, you need to talk to the doctors about that. You also need to get a mentor, someone older, an elder, that can give you some direction in this relationship. Again, you can go see, see counseling. You can get couples counseling if you want to invest that kind of time into it. But you do need to pray about it. And not just about the decision to leave this relationship, but you need to pray about what it is that you need to do in order to invite the kind of love into your life that you need okay you can create the love that you desire all right um this relationship may have been good for you if you were willing to stick with it this is the uh conscious spirit card that came along with the ace of water and this talks about sun goddess okay it says, I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. Okay. So, again, you need to spend more time outside in nature. Um, please use sunscreen because you could be sensitive to the sun. But you need to get out there. Um, you need to focus on your diet a little bit, too. It's telling me. Um, spend more time taking walks are just sitting in the sun, sitting in nature. But make sure you protect yourself with sunscreen. And because you don't want the, the sun, the sun's rays or, or any reactions to it to be an excuse for you not to go out there, okay? And also you need to drink plenty of water. That's for you. Uh, next card was the sun reversed. 
okay. Again, you didn't want to spend too much time in this relationship. You feel it's moving very slowly, or it was moving very slowly, and you weren't willing to um, stick around too much longer. You may have been blocking his phone calls now, rejecting his uh, messages, ignoring his messages, because you got the Eight of uh, Wands reversed, okay? Eight of Wands looks like this, all right? Wands is a, is a um, signifier for Sagittarius or uh, Leo or Pisces, fire signs, okay? So... You may have been cutting off communication with him or rejecting his phone calls, all right? Ignoring him, not giving him your full attention when you're speaking, when he's speaking to you. And the card that came here, all right, so this, now we're on to the um, Romance Angel cards here, okay? This talks about codependency in this relationships, in this relationship. Addictions are affecting your love life, okay? Codependencies may be dependencies on alcohol, uh, some kind of substance abuse. It could also be um, just too much uh, depending on the relationship itself. Some people just like to be in relationships, okay? Um, that could be it on his side or your side, okay? There, if there's a codependency, then it means that there's something, both parties are getting something out of this relationship. Even if it's a negative thing, both people, you're getting something from each side. So this could have been this relationship, but if you're having a pattern of, of this, then it's not that you're, you have to figure out why you're picking the wrong partners if this happens repeatedly in relationships that you have, okay? Um, the next card that you had gotten again was the Baba Luayang. And this, the African American card that came with this was the Knave of Chalice. Okay, so that's cups in the regular tarot, right? and reverse. So, something happened suddenly. This relationship happened suddenly. This talks about something that's like love at first sight. Um, so you may have um, met this person while you were on vacation or traveling, or you may have connected with them when you were on a vacation or traveling. You may have even known them before. Uh, but this it was like a love at first sight type of a thing. And it started off good, but secrets and uh, undependable behavior started to reveal itself pretty quickly and it started to have bad effects. You began to feel ignored or taken for granted. And you are ready to walk away because this is a very disheartening uh, situation. And it hurts because you feel that you have a real connection, all right? And the Romance Angel card gave you unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, I feel that there is attraction here. The chemistry is off because both of you are off, okay? You're not, present, you're not coming to the table with your best selves, presenting to each other, okay? He's got issues that may be, you know, obvious, but the issues that you have are more internal, inside, secret. You keep secrets too. There are places that you don't let other people into. There's a face that you show. <sighs> There's a face that you show in public that is not who you really are inside. All right? You have dark places too. All right? But this is why this love like you feel like you're not getting back what you put into this relationship, all right? That's unrequited love. That you feel like you were putting in more than you were getting back. And that may have been true. That may have been true. But the question is why? Why are you putting so much in 
why are you picking people that require so much attention okay the five of air was a card that you had gotten again and it talks about patterns <laughs> it talks about something that stems from your family issues your childhood um, inability, inability to balance your emotions with your intellect okay um, you need to maybe talk to other women older women women who have been through these experiences and they can give you some good advice wise women or you know seek counseling outside again you can always talk to your ancestors like we're saying go out get into nature find a sacred space or create a sacred space in your home and uh, see what answers your ancestors have for you because they're there always yeah this is about a relationship with a mother figure also um, maybe a strict mother figure someone who was maybe distant all right wasn't there a lot and this is affecting your your ability to balance emotions and um, material and intellect okay and sometimes when we have a really mm, strong relationship with a father figure or we grow up around a lot of men or we work and a lot of uh, we tend to, to, to take on a lot of male energy and the feminine side of us the emotional side of us kind of gets pushed down which is why people may not know what's going on with you for real because you have learned how to how to camouflage those things <sighs> again <laughs> the um, romance angel card that came out for that was family healing family issues all right so that makes sense that makes sense there may again be something going on with your relationship that happened in the past with your parents all right, your inability to um, be soft and smart at the same time, okay? Um, not that you're unable to do it. It's just that you're hesitant to do it. You don't want to let down your guard. You don't want to be vulnerable. But why, okay? There's something else going on. There's things that happened in your childhood or in your past that you need to, to deal with. Next card that you got here, Shango upside down. Again, it talks about losing respect for uh, men and for men, male figures, authority figures. And that card came out with three African American cards from African American Day. So here we go Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades. The Ace of Wands reversed. So this is Wands. Wands is a Sagittarius. Okay. Upside down. Confused. Not at your strongest. Rejecting something. And the next card that you got was Queen of Pentacles reversed. Reversed. Okay. So. This combination all right these cards here it says that you have the ability to overcome these things if you listen to the messages and take the advice don't be dismissive of this advice okay um, you may want to uh, if you're going to get a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a social worker, somebody, so you could talk to, try to 
try to see if you can get a female psychologist. All right, but you do have to take the first step, and then you will be successful. Okay, and you will find the passion that you seek. That's the card that came up with this group. Okay, so you have a problem with men. You've lost respect for uh, for men or for males in authority figures. Okay, or you're having some kind of a, a issue with them. Okay, but if you seek help, if you take the advice that's being given to you, then you will be successful and you will find your passion or you'll find the passion that you're seeking. Okay, allowing your heart to sing, your heart and your soul to sing with joy. All right, so that is the advice that you're being given by that card, that you need to, um, to talk to somebody and to take the advice. Don't be dismissive. Don't, um, don't ignore it, okay? The Salamander card was the last card that you got from the Orisha deck. And the Salamander card got a five of pentacles, five of, of coins again. Like I said, there's a lot of gold, there's a lot of money in your reading. So, um, you're concerned about the money and uh, your investments and things like that right now, but it's going to be fine, okay? Eventually, it'll straighten itself out. I just was told to tell you that. Okay, so again, salamanders, they can change, they shift themselves depending on the situation showing one side to everyone else while inside you're depressed feeling alone and misunderstood you choose to be you choose solitude in order to protect yourself from criticism so it doesn't mean that you're uh, particularly staying uh, by yourself okay it could just be that you're not letting people get close enough to you to know what's really going on. And this talks about separation. Okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. All right. So it talks about taking a rest, taking a break, separation. That's what's coming up. But also, intuitively, the message I got for you is that you have not been forthcoming with your social group, with your peers, with your friends. You're protecting your reputation. You're protecting yourself. All right. We talked, the first card talked about protecting your legacy, protecting your, your, um, your reputation. And this is something that you learned and that you internalized. Okay. You may have been brought up with that type of, uh, of well, you know, let things stay inside all right and so you show one face publicly but inside you're in pain and no one knows it because you don't share it okay when I looked at all the cards that you had um, for the Orisha the Tarot of the Orisha deck you had a two and then two tens which add up to 22 and then you had a five, which adds up to 27, and two plus seven is a nine. So this message is from your ancestors. And they're telling you to pay attention to the messages and to the patterns. Okay, so now the next deck that I consulted was Yana Van Zandt, all right? Until today cards. So when I shuffled, you got three cards. What first card said, all aspects of who I am is important. Okay? So this is talking about not just taking care of the outside, but also taking care of the inside, taking care of your spirit, your heart. Okay? Doing the exercises that you need to do to strengthen your your insides and to get to the bottom of the situation and find out why you attract these type of relationships 
and why you don't stay long in the relationships that you attract. Because that they, they spoke about that too in this reading. That's what I was getting. But the card says, until today, you may have believed that having a dark side makes you unworthy to seek and receive the light. Just for today, remember that stars only shine in the darkness. Transform the energy of your dark side to enhance your star quality. Okay? So, those things that happen to you, those secret, those bad experiences that you don't want to talk about, they all, they all go um, work together to make you who you are, good and bad. And so maybe some of those bad things are still affecting you without you even knowing it or realizing it, okay? But it makes you who you are. And if there's parts about you that you feel need to be changed, then there may be some deep work that you need to do in order to address those experiences that have impacted you in a way that makes you um, behave the way you do within relationships and attract the people that you do. The next card is, I forgive myself for holding on to the need to be right. Until today, you may not have been aware that you still need external validation to feel good about yourself. Just for today, surrender what you believe is wrong with you, and you'll never again feel the need to be right. So, what I'm getting here again is to talk about it, all right? Let it out. Be real with someone, okay? Whether it be uh, uh, an advisor, an elderly um, maternal figure, someone who you feel secure and safe with, that you can tell them your story. Tell the truth and get it out, cry it out, yell it out, whatever you gotta do, punch it out. But start working on that. Maybe you weren't right to keep it to yourself all this time. Maybe you weren't right to break off this relationship with this person, okay? You're gonna forgive yourself for holding on to the need to be right. You can change your mind, okay? Isn't that part of being a woman, the ability to change your mind, <laughs> right? I cannot hide what I think, what I feel, or who I am. I cannot hide what I think, what I feel, or who I am. Until today, you made excuses for not being fully present in your loving relationships. Just for today, be devoted to being present in all of your relationships. Share the truth about your thoughts and feelings. Share the truth about yourself. Okay. So, again, this, these cards are agreeing with <clears throat> the message that you've gotten from the rest of the reading. Now, the last card that I went to for you is called the Inner Child Tarot Cards, Inner Child Tarot. And I just, um, I've had this for a while, but I've really never used it. I, I just brought this out. So you're the first one, first or second person getting this reading. Now the card that came out for you, now see how big these cards are compared to this. All right, <laughs> try shuffling those for long. But the card that came out for you was the two card, all right? And this is the fairy godmother. Isn't that beautiful? These cards are pretty. Okay, the fairy godmother card. And it's a two. All right, so I'm definitely reading from the book. And it's right here. Okay, so this card, the number two, is similar to the high priestess in the traditional tarot. All right. Fairy godmother plays a big part in shaping 
our inner awareness of magical helpers. All right. Um, like when we see Cinderella, all right, we expect, we have an expectation about the fairy godmother. All right. Fairy godmother is also referred to in some places as the queen of heaven. Okay. Um, or good ladies. All right. Fairies could transform, okay, transform into an animal or a stone and back again. All right, so this talks about someone who can camouflage, someone who is a chameleon, like the salamander, someone who can change at will. And it's nothing that you do on purpose, it's just a talent. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But when it's a, it becomes a problem when you're not being real with your with yourself. When you start to believe your own myth that you've written. Okay. So, fairy godmother. I'm just going to read the part that's pertaining to you because this is three pages long. We all have our high priestess or fairy godmother within us. When we honor her, it is the deepest places of our psyche. She grows into our wisdom as we gain faith in the spirit of our eternal and undeniable protection in the universe. <clears throat> so as you grow in faith, and as you learn and you become more spiritual, she grows in her wisdom also. In the ancient tarot, the high priestess is the mystery teacher, similar to the Pope, and she holds the key of your inner sanctuary, okay? Our innate wisdom, our intuition, our prayerful reverence for all life. In ancient Egypt, she was known as Isis and was strongly connected with the rhythms and the cycles of the moon. So we know women, we women are connected to those cycles of the moon. The fairy godmother is an enchantress. She ushers in what we think we do not know or cannot have or dare not express. So she's a keeper of our secrets. She offers us gifts of love and gifts of the spirit. The gift of inner guidance and universal love. When this card appears in your reading, your higher mind already knows the answer. Listen to your intuition, cultivate your faith. The number two is the balance between the spiritual and the physical realms, all right? So we talked about the balance between emotional and intellect, okay? Spiritual and physical realms. She is the balance. It's also a balance between the inward and external path. Two is an emotional number, deeply sensitive. Two prominent fairy godmothers in The Wizard of Oz and Cinderella come in in times of need and in times of crisis. The fairy godmother reminds you of the journey ahead and the need to persevere to accomplish soul work. All right, so you got this card because your ancestors, the divine, is trying to give you a message that tells you that you have some work that you need to do on your soul, okay? You, the reason why this guy, this person, he can't, he can't shake you and he wants to, to continue this relationship or he feels like he depends on you so much. It's because he, needs a, he sees you as a fairy godmother too. He sees you as the person that's going to come and help him and save him. And that may be a lot of what it is. You know how we tease the guys and say, oh, Captain Save a Ho? Well, Captain Save a Ho is, uh, you know, work works both ways all right there's parts of us that want to um to nurture all right want to help want to save 
But then there's the other part of you, that masculine energy is like, get the hell out of here, enough. Right? So, we have to, you have to Okay, you, you have to do some work on getting in touch with your inner child, getting in touch with those issues that have brought you to this place. Um, I was just, uh, I just was reading a book called Father Therapy, and it is by Doreen Virtue, and it talked about father-daughter relationships. Um, so there may be something there that's affecting the way you interact with men all right you may be setting um, setting goals or um, hmm. you have requirements maybe or expectations that may not be realistic or uh, you may not be as flexible as maybe you could be and you're doing that because you're protecting yourself and protecting your home. You're protecting your, your reputation. But sometimes there calls a time for us to soften up. There, calls, there comes a time for us to really be willing to do the work. And not just the work to help this person. But the work that you do to help him may be the work that you need for yourself. If he has to go to AA or, or NA or any of those things, you may be able to go with him. And some of the topics and the things that they talk about can be enlightening, okay, and can bring you some clarity, all right? But mental health, you know, we got coverage um, through Obamacare and uh, our employers. And, and so I'm saying that now's the time for you to start to do the work you have to look inside and see what what those experiences have uh, what mark they've made on you and your impression and your dealings with with men with other people all right while I was doing the reading this song the tears of a clown kept coming up in my head all the whole time so you know, tears of a clown when there's no one around, okay? So you're not, you're not opening yourself up because you don't want to be vulnerable. And I can understand that. Um, but you have to find some place somewhere to open up and to deal with those situations. And yes, it's good to go and get readings and all of that, but there's work, inner work that needs to be done um, demons that need to be addressed, um, things that need to be released on your part. And maybe this person is in your life to bring that to your awareness, all right? Maybe the, he was a catalyst to get you to start to do that work. If you'd like to set up a, a bulbot on your home, you know, you did um, a video on the channel that I run that we'll talk about that there are other YouTube videos out there and basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna get a glass of water um, and a white candle and put it in a space that you're gonna dedicate to your ancestors ancestors being anyone in your family who's transitioned it could be a father a mother a brother uh, grandparents family members and you're gonna discuss you're gonna thank them first of all for bringing you this far and thank you for allowing you to uh, be open and get more knowledge about this and then you're going to talk to them about what's going on if for some reason you can't or you don't feel comfortable setting up a, a spiritual sacred place in your home you can go to the church and light a candle in a catholic church anytime that they're open and sit and pray you can pray by yourself in your car, but the advice here was for you to um, interact with nature, okay? So, um, go somewhere where there's sun, 
you can go somewhere where there's water. So it could be beach or it could be sitting on the side of a hill, a park, a waterfall, a waterfall, sitting and, and not just once, make this an appointment, you know, for you to be with yourself and for you to be with God and for you to talk to your ancestors and ask them for guidance and help so that you can regain your passion, okay? Or you can find your passion. The tools are there for you. And you can do what it is that you need to do to get yourself together so that as you go forward in your life, um, you'll, you'll start to not pick these situations or you'll stop to stop being um, quick to change relationships or to, to break up with people. You may need to cultivate some more patience about that. That might be part of it also. Having patience again with people, accepting people's faults, just as you would expect people to accept yours. Now you may not be that, you know, open to that because you don't expect people to accept your faults. That's why you hide so much, okay? And you may be dismissive even of this reading. I don't know. But I'm just giving you what the Spirit gave me to give you, all right? And I have my own issues too. And I need to deal with my own issues also, so you're not by yourself. But you're a Sagittarius, and you're a spiritual person, and you're a leader. And if you make a breakthrough, just imagine what you could share with your friends and family. You know, this doesn't have to go against who you are for you to be open about your challenges. sharing your experiences, sharing your knowledge, sharing your wisdom that you will get when you go on this journey to find out more about yourself is going to be helpful for someone else in the future. It could be a daughter, granddaughter, niece, um, some other female, some other male. This, this guy here, he likes you, he cares about you a lot, and he looks up to you. But if you're done with him, you're done with him. But keep in mind, that this relationship is what brought you to this place, that when you get yourself together and when you uh, get the answers and, and flush out those demons and get to the place in your spirit that you need to be, he may be the person for you. You may have to revisit it, you may have to reconcile with him, but he may not be such a bad guy, all right? I don't know what his situation is, but, uh, he needs to handle it, and he needs to get himself ready to present himself to you. And you need to get yourself ready to accept the love that's there for you. Okay, so I hope that um, this resonated with you. I hope you're happy with this reading. Um, Anytime, you know, if you want further readings, we'll work that out also, okay? This took a lot of time, a lot of energy, you see. You got over, over 45 cards, I think, <laughs> all together. So, but it was interesting and enlightening. And, uh, and, and uh, thank you for allowing me to, to share this with you. And I thank my ancestors, I thank the ancestors for this reading and uh, thank you for sharing and thank you for giving us your insight all right talk to your ancestors set up a, a bovada and if you can't do that go find yourself a spot in nature spend some time in the sun connect with your nature and get some counseling so that you can get to the root of the problems so that you can be who you're meant to be okay all right amen I say peace.